Okay. Right? Jared Oxendine joins us, and I found out something. I found out that Steve West is a karate man for more than 20 years, and he was married once. Coincidentally, about 20 years ago, I don't know who settled it back then. Hopefully, everybody made out. But I do know if you got a little problem now, Jared Oxentine is ready to help you out. You can go to oxlawfirm.com. Jared will give you a phone number as well. If you're thinking about it, make sure you do it the right way. All parties will be better off. Jared, how are you doing this afternoon? Good afternoon, gentlemen. Doing great. So Steve got divorced 20 years ago and stayed smart and never remarried, huh? Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> how long? Can I do an under over how long you were married? Five I, months. I, I was going to say four months. Yeah. I would have been off. Okay. Well, Listen, that's quick. We'll get to, yeah, yeah, says the guy who's actually seen everything. <laughs> and Jared, and Jared Oxendine. That's Jared, sort of like an oopsie right there. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> you, know what, you know what he wanted? I call it an adult do-over. He wanted an adult do-over. I came down to the pressure. That mistake will not be made again. Uh, it was the first girlfriend he ever had, man. He just never had it before. It well, that is not couldn't, true. Couldn't, no, couldn't I don't think it. that's true. But he, he told me off air. It was seven years in, and he caved into the pressure. I said, oh, yeah, that's a great basis for I do. <laughs> Gave it into the pressure. All right, I want to ask you a couple of things. This Reese Witherspoon, she's loaded. She's getting divorced. There is at least this thought that when she sold her production company for $900 million and a bunch of property, $21 million home, $7 million home, God bless her. This is the, I, I mean, I know the beginning of her career. Good for her on every level. But there is a speculation that they were selling these things to make the divorce, quote, unquote, easier. Instead of having a business, let's have a pile of cash we can divvy up. Is that a real thing? Yeah, I think it's great. I like to call it the silent divorce. So you've got two parties here that are actors. They both made a lot of money. I think they signed a prenuptial agreement before they they even got married. And then they accumulated a lot of assets during the marriage. And so what they did is they were reasonable. They were level-headed. They were amicable. And they signed on the dotted line and divided up all their assets, and nobody ever knew they were divorced until the paperwork was filed. So that's great. I think a good example there uh, that your audience needs to know is that not every case has to be nasty. It doesn't have to be ugly. We do amicable uh, divorces all the time, and those are good cases. And the idea of the business is harder to split up than the actual cash if you sell. Now, again, both parties have to be in line with wanting to sell agreeing to sell, but it's an easier division as opposed to trying to divvy up a business, correct? Yeah, it is. I mean, when we have a business we're trying to divide, we've got to get experts involved and we have to get a valuation done. And usually one party is going to keep the business and then they have to buy the other person out. So we need to know how much the business is worth. And then the other party will get a larger share of the assets or or they'll get paid out over time. So it's certainly much more complicated to have a contested process when you've got a business involved. All right, Jared Oxendine joins us. Don't forget oxlawfirm.com. Jared will give a phone number in a second. On average, do you see more divorces in when both parties are in their 20s? Or now we keep hearing about this divorce at a later date, 50-plus. How has that swollen in the last handful of years? Yeah, I would say the majority of my divorces average to be 40s and 50s. We certainly see folks that are older than 50s and younger than 40s. Um, the most rare cases I see are when folks are in like their 70s. Uh, usually, if you've made it that long, you're you're going to stick it out. But but that does see, happen. Steve, uh, it could have been just a few more years if you stuck it out. You could still be married today. I, I don't want to envision that scenario, but, but thank you. So we're when, bringing when, back bad memories. When 70 plus comes in, again, you treat them fairly. You treat them with respect. But is there maybe that moment of okay? really go home and think about this one more day yeah i mean i like people to be happy i mean life is is already short it's certainly much shorter when you're in your 70s uh if we're just being honest and so if somebody really is in a situation where they want a divorce and they've got a legitimate reason um i don't talk them out of it if they're on the fence though i certainly do encourage them to get counseling um we call those gray divorces when you got somebody that is you know of, of elder age and they're looking to get divorced you don't see them that often but they do happen and the main difference in those cases really comes to pensions and retirement accounts usually we're having to deal with situations where one party wants to access money in a retirement account but they really can't without having to pay penalties and interest um, once you reach a certain age you can access retirement accounts without having to pay any penalties so uh, folks that are in their 70s, dividing retirement accounts can somewhat be easier because we don't have to worry about any consequences associated with accessing the money early. And last thing, if you see people who are Steve West, now you weren't in your 20s, but you were married for five months. 
that concept of in your 20s when you might not have close to anything, how ridiculous is it if people go in screaming about when my lawyer gets a hold of you when you have literally nothing? It's absolutely insane. You know, I mean, it, it pays my bills, but I tell people all the time, you know, keep that money in your pocket. If you have nothing to fight over, make rational business decisions. Don't make emotional decisions. And you, unfortunately, will have people that are just seeing red every time they think about their spouse. And even they, even though they have nothing to argue over, they find something to argue over. So that's unfortunate. Sometimes emotions get in the way. But if you're smart, you're going to be level-headed. You're going to be reasonable. Make a good business decision. Move on with your life. Uh, I'm old enough where the big screen TV, when I got divorced, was a thing. Now you can go get one for $149. Don't fight over the big screen TV. That's basically what you're saying, correct? That's exactly right. And not over the plastic dog toys. I had that case, too. We had a week-long trial, and the last day of the trial, we find ourselves arguing in front of the judge over who's going to get the plastic dog toys. And we're talking about like 50 cent, maybe less than that, toys. And so we take a break during the trial, and me and the other attorney look at each other, and we say, you know, this is kind of silly. We're arguing over these toys, but nobody's even saying anything about a dog. Right. And then we ask the clients, and the dog died like five years ago. So that's right. just, I, I'm gonna, that's just I'm gonna, silly. Jared, I'm going to say this, and I don't, think it's, <laughs> I don't think legally this can happen. You know what I would do if I'm the judge in that case? I'm banging my gavel, and I'm putting both of those people in jail. <laughs> you and me both, Domino. Uh, you and me both. That right, is tell, absolutely insane. Tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Sure. Give us a call, 770-497-8688. You can also go online, oxlawfirm.com, and we will give you a free consultation. Appreciate it, Jared. Thank you very much. And remember, if you're thinking about it, think about it logically and go to attorneys that are going to do it logically on both sides. Thanks very much.